guys quick video update of the k24 civic uh kind of been working on the car off camera a little bit also been kind of busy with work so i haven't been keeping you guys updated with some of the update parts which is while i'm making this video today got a little bit of time got a new rear strut bar for the car skunk 2 before we had the black one but I think this polished one kind of looks good. Kind of matches the seat. I don't think I'll be putting a seat cover over the seat. So I think it just kind of matches the raw look there. And then got ourselves a new throttle body. I do want to give a huge shout out to my guy, K Rari. If you guys don't already follow him on Instagram, you guys should. He drives a real beautiful K20 four four door eg really beautiful car man one of the cleanest four doors k20s out there and um really appreciate him i got this part from him it's the uh, k20a euro r throttle body which is a few millimeters bigger than the one that i used to have which was the accord one and another thing about this one is that it has the oem throttle cable bracket so uh, really hard to find these parts. I mean, they are out there, but no one really knows you can use it. So most people don't even utilize it. Most people actually throw it away. So I got real lucky there. Appreciate you, K-Rari, for that. And um, yeah, kind of been working on the engine here. Got our seven rib alternator belt or serpentine belt. So what I did here was... Um, we upgraded, if you guys are already following the build, you guys know we upgraded that crank pulley down there to the RRC, which is from the K20A Type R. And um, so what I did there, um, it the belt was a little bit longer because obviously the pulley got smaller. So what I did was I bought a 51 and 1 8 from Napa, seven rib. So when I came to install it, I noticed that my um, tension was a little bit too tight. So instead of reducing the belt or trying to find a different belt, I know that the K20Z3 alternator is a little bit bigger. So what I did was I put a K20A2 alternator on here and um, it is a little bit smaller than the Z3 one. So it fit perfect with that belt that I got from Napa. All I had to do was add this little spacer here. If you guys are going to be doing the same thing, all you have to do is add that spacer right there. Um, so the alternator could sit flush. Another thing we did is we got ourselves a new shifter box. Here's a part number for you guys. If you guys want to upgrade your shifter box real simple upgrade uh, you'll get those nice clean shifts because obviously there's no brittleness in the plastic and uh, everything's brand new also it'll look real nice inside the car I'll show you guys the old one the old one's just old and used so um, I wanted to get a new one my cables were fairly new already so I didn't replace my cables. Um, but what I did do is I got this hardware from uh, Hybrid Racing. These little bushings here going between the cable here. And it just gives you a nice shift because it's going to be nice and snug. So here's a part number for that. And then another thing I did was I got these uh, clips just to kind of have everything new. Here's the part number for that. And um, that's pretty much it. I did a few things here and there. Um, got new uh, cable bracket, all the hardware new, just to kind of get everything nice and cleaned up. Another thing I did, I don't know if I mentioned it while I was doing the Type S oil pump swap. We upgraded our K20Z3 transmission. All I did was refresh it and put all brand new gears in it. Um, everything's brand new pretty much inside. 
we went ahead and did the six speed shifter mechanism with the uh, six speed reverse lockout. And then I also did a RSX type S engine harness before we had the EP3 one. So because we went with the shifter lockout, I figure I might as well do it right and get the six speed harness also. So we upgraded that. And the one more thing we're gonna upgrade is our header. I did hook up a local gunner with the old header. We're just gonna get a brand new Skunk 2 one because I'm gonna redo the piping. So I figure I might as well just get everything uh, brand new all over again. I was gonna do a hood exit and that's the reason why I sold the original header, but I changed my mind because I would have to um, replace the battery or relocate it. And then I would have to relocate the fuse box, which I really don't wanna do because I don't think I'm going to be running a race fuel just yet. So um, just going back to a Skunk 2 Alpha header. And once that comes in, the car will pretty much be back in action. Um, got another GoPro too. I'm going to be adding one on the fender and then one on the rear where you guys see that rear bracket just to get some nice footage. Got all these little add-ons here for the new GoPro. So um, once I get all that stuff dialed in and uh, everything gets installed, I'll definitely keep you guys updated. I do appreciate all you guys that reached out on Instagram. If you guys don't already follow me, my Instagram name is OEM Works. So uh, comment, subscribe. And let me know what you guys think.